Let's go anyway. Look at the bird. Look at the, looks like a white tree. <laughs> yeah. Well, I saw it when we came home last night. <laughs> When we're asking for recommendations on where to stay in Toowoomba, just about everyone recommended to stay at the Toowoomba showgrounds. So we turned up there and we were lucky to get a spot right on the lake. How good is that? When you drive in, there's a row of historic windmills on the right hand side, it's worth a look at. We we're lucky enough that the jacaranda was flowering when we were there. There always seems to be plenty going on there. Uh, for $30 a night, power, water, there's toilets, showers, and a laundry. I reckon that's pretty good. There's plenty of bird life around. We had ducks coming up and sitting under the caravan. Every night these birds came in to roost on a little tree in the middle of the lake. And the sunsets over the lake weren't too bad either. If you take a drive up the New England Highway, you'll come to Highfields. And there's a Highfields Pioneer Village there, which is a great spot to take family. There's a big cow there and plenty to see old buildings and an old village. After that, you can head on further up to Kabbalah and Black Forest Hill. There's some old German style buildings there. Well worth stopping, getting a couple of photos. From there I head up to Ravensburn National Park and the Gus Futel Lookout. Great views there as far as the eye can see. I did the rainforest circuit, a short walk, about uh, 30 minutes, beautiful there. Saw a few bush turkeys along the way, nice and cool on a hot day. Further north you'll come to Lake Presbrook. Wanted to check out the camping there. There's plenty of sites and very reasonably priced. Just if you are towing a caravan, just be aware it's a long steep descent down to the lake. So just take it easy. There's plenty of kangaroos around the lake and bird life. A lot of people boating there. Looks like quite a popular spot. I also stopped in at Crow's Nest National Park for a bit of a walk there as well. Just wasn't much water in the creek, so a few people were swimming in the rock pools there. Tell you what, I wasn't going to. Crow's Nest itself is a lovely village, especially Nolan's Block. There's a cafe, restaurant, uh, vintage shops, and also in Crow's Nest there's an old second-hand bookshop. There's so many books in there. Unbelievable. Definitely worth a stop if you're that way inclined. In Toowoomba itself, I did like uh, the railway station. A lot of historic buildings though that are worth uh, a photograph. If you got the time, I highly recommend to go to the uh, Japanese gardens down there, the university. Very peaceful, lovely spot to look around for an hour or so. 
quite a few people picnic in there as well. Now, when you're in Toowoomba, you need to go up to Picnic Point. It's a great spot. There's a peaceful little waterfall there. There's a boardwalk that goes around with information boards. Great views as far as the eye can see again. If you've got kids, the playground looks really cool. Um, just very unique and plenty of places for picnicking there as well. The views are stunning. You can see absolutely miles on a clear day. Around Toowoomba there's quite a few parks and gardens. There's Queen's Park Garden right next to the Botanic Gardens. Definitely worth a look. We were lucky enough to be there just after the flower show. So most of the garden beds were still intact. Definitely worth a nice look around. I'd have to say my favourite park was Laurel Bank Park. There's also a scented garden attached to that for the visually impaired. Just the manicured gardens were uh, really worth a look at. We also have had a raised platform so you could view the gardens from above. It was uh, pretty impressive. Definitely worth um, stopping at the showgrounds. I highly recommend to camp there. There's quite a few different spots you can camp. I just uh, wouldn't recommend parking up near the, the big windmill. I could say it could be a bit noisy. But I'd highly recommend if you're camping Stay at the showgrounds. $30 a night, can't go wrong. If you haven't already, please subscribe to our channel, uh, like the video and leave a comment. And we'll see you all next week. Cheers.